In this video, we will talk about a simple but effective four hour price action strategy for trend following. So with this video, we will dive into swing trading and swing trading, of course, has some specialties. It's different from trading the one hour chart or 50 minute chart. So from day trading to swing trading, you have to be cautious for some specialties and we will talk about them today and how to handle the four hour chart best practice with this strategy. So let's go ahead and start on the chart. So we're here on the Euro US dollar on the four hour chart as explained. And I've already drawn in some support and resistance levels here because we will start right away with the specialties of four hour charts. We usually have really clear and long trends here on this time frame. You see beautiful here, accumulation, distribution, accumulation, a beautiful downwards trend that we are in right here, beautiful and long. And of course we have different options to trade this market and this time frame. One option is to trade the counter trend movement like this one would be, but we will go deeper into that topic in the next video. In this video, we will concentrate on the trend following. So as mentioned before, some kind of trading like the classic breakout strategy, for example, is not that well working in this time frame, like in the lower ones. And there's a simple reason why, for example, if I would wait until the market breaks through the last low here and I will put my short enter here, then I should put my stop loss above here, above the last high, the last significant high. And this is already 480 pips risk. And this is a whole lot. And even compared, if you see how far the further movement down went, so maybe if you manage your trade, then you drop out of this market right here when the market breaks through the last high. And then you have a risk reward ratio of 0.46. So this is not really a good strategy for this market and time frame because that's simply just too much risk and too less profit. And therefore I will show you now what to do in order to improve your risk reward ratio for this time frame. So you see, I've already drawn in this support and resistance area. The market founds resistance here first and then reacts to it a second time and now finds support in it. So it is definitely a major area where the market is most likely to reverse from. So this area is giving us a good potential or a high potential turning point. And in the four hour chart, we get a good risk reward ratio if we try to catch the turning points. So for example, in this case, I will zoom in a little bit. I just wanted to show you that this is a major level since it has reacted to this area quite a lot. And of course, it's always important to not see it as an exact line. So it is definitely an area. So here you see the market has reacted to that area once and here again. So it is not always as exact in trading as you, of course, know if you follow my videos. So let's zoom in a bit. And then we see that the market touches this area here and after that it doesn't break through. So it spends quite some time in this area making a sideways range up here, not managing to go through any further because of that major support and resistance area like we have analyzed before. So since this is a high potential turning point because of this support and resistance area and we get confirmation now because the market didn't manage to go through, it bounces off here with momentum first, then trying to hit again and again and always not managing to th go through. So all this level is a really, really strong level now. So, so who loves to trade breakout could use this area as a entry point as well when the market leaves this area to the bottom. And also we see here that the market pulls back from this level with momentum here with a momentum candle. So this could also be used as entry. Plus this momentum candle is also forming with the green candle before a bearish engulfing candlestick pattern. So also a possible entry that we use for our trade now. 
So if we put the entry here and the stop loss, of course, above the support and resistance area would leave some space in order to not get knocked out by a spike or something like that. And then, of course, if you work with targets, the first one could, of course, be the last low and the second one a little further. I would have set in this case three times our risk. So this would have been our target. I really love to manage trades myself, but if I don't have that much time, sometimes I use targets and this would be the target here. And you see the trade would have worked out really, really well. We see the risk is a lot lower since we have 180 pips here instead of the 480 we had before. So lots of less risk and we catch the trend movement a lot earlier so we can make more profits with this movement. And our risk reward ratio is from 0.48 to 3 now. So really good situation for a trade. And you see the market made its way through but then came a little back. That's totally fine. We see here is an area where the market has spent quite some time as well. So it's not, not a surprise that it does this as well. So nothing to worry about. After that, the market dives deeper and then continuing its way short. And of course, hitting here our target. So let's do that real quick with a second example. I've drawn in here the support and resistance area on the bottom where the market has its last low and reacted to this area again at this point and broke through right here. And of course, it's most likely to expect that the market finds this new turning point in this area as well, since this is the major support and resistance area in this area that we are trying to trade in. So let's wait that the market comes into this area and then look for a possible trade entry. It took quite some time till the market made its way up to this area. But as analyzed before that this is a high possibility, the market finds support here. It is bouncing off this area first time here and then coming back and testing this level again. So in this case, it is building a double top, a beautiful pattern to confirm our analysis with the support and resistance area. So confirmed here, this is a possible area for an entry. And after the market bounces off the second time, building a bearish engulfing candlestick pattern here again, this is a possible entry for our short. Of course, we place our stop loss far enough away. And then of course, the first possible target could be right here in this area where the market has its last low and the second target at least should be further down since we are still in an intact and ongoing downwards trend. But the first target also has a risk reward ratio of 1.8. So a proper trade with high potential. So these long and clear trends on the far hour chart really invite for trading the turning points. We have good tools and good possibilities to analyze the potential turning points really, really well with a high hit rate and we can use them to place our trades early. So we catch a good distance of the trending movement and of course to keep the risk short and the risk reward ratio high. So always remember, first step is to analyze the underlying trend and of course the major support and resistance levels where the market is most likely to react to. You can also use the daily chart for help for this basic analysis for this foundation. Sometimes it helps to make the view or the get to get the view more clearer and then go back to the four hour chart and look for confirmation of this analysis, confirmation that this is really a turning point and then look for an entry when the market gains volume into the trending direction. Simple and effective trend trading strategy on the four hour chart. Try it yourself and I would love to hear your feedback in the comments below. That's it for this video today. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the thumb up button. And if you haven't done so before, subscribe to my channel for more and interesting videos to come. And if you don't want to wait until then, then you will find below this video, the link to my website. So stay tuned and I will see you next week with the next video. Bye bye. See you then.